What's up everybody? So today we're going to be talking about the Pendleton Westerly sweater, the dude sweater. You might recognize it from such films as The Big Lebowski and this particular video. Alright, so I'm going to start this review by saying this really typically isn't my thing. I usually dress darker, more monotone, cleaner, if that's the word you want to use. Um, I was actually getting this sweater because I had a Halloween party coming up and I saw a deal. I actually bought this from uh, Backcountry. They had a promo code going on. I got it for a little bit under 200. Backcountry did pretty well, so I would probably order from them again. I wasn't really expecting to like this sweater as much as I do so far. For those of you who don't know, this is the sweater that was popularized by Jeff Bridges in the 90s cult classic film, The Big Lebowski. One thing that I would point out about The Big Lebowski, uh, especially for those of you who know the film, it was magnificently casted. And now that I'm wearing this sweater, I also see that they really knocked it out of the park as far as the wardrobe goes as well. Looking at this sweater in the abstract, is way different than in person to me. And the reason that I say that is because it really does have like this super chill vibe to it. It flies under the radar. And um, I think that's what they were going for when they were making Jeff Bridges, you know, uh, or the dude's uh, wardrobe. The wool feels like cotton. Looking at it now, I, I really don't expect any pilling. I have a friend, uh, two friends actually, who own this sweater. That was another force multiplier for me wanting to get one, just to be funny when we hang out. Um, but I do have two friends who own this sweater, and they say uh, after about one year, uh, they're not seeing any any pilling. So I, I think that's a really good sign. These are oversized. Literally all Pendleton stuff that I ever tried on was a little bit oversized. If I wanted this to fit a little bit better, probably a little bit more like I would expect uh, a cardigan to, to fit, I'd probably size down. But I really was going for like the relaxed look because I did get this for a costume. Um, it's up to you what kind of look you're going for. Okay, I did want to mention weird secret level of this. Uh, sweater. There's a uh, almost secret button and a very close to secret loop on the collar here and they're barely functional but the idea is that you could use these together and button up your collar if it gets really cold out or whatever. It takes a decent amount to button up the collar but I mean it, it does work. It looks bad. It kind of looks like a neck vagina. I don't know. Maybe that's the look you're going for. I couldn't tell you. It kind of seems like a waste of time to me because I, I don't know how many people use this. But uh, there's no pockets. I, I don't really care about that. Typically, cardigans like this don't look good when you start adding uh, pockets to them. I, I don't know. Um, so I'm, I'm fine without the pockets, but you know, your mileage may vary. The hardware is smooth enough. Uh, it's low key, does the job. Overall, I would give this piece a B. I was expecting to give it a C or a D, but uh, you know, I plan on wearing this, you know, way past Halloween. I don't I don't know how much, I don't know how it'll hold up. I'm kinda looking forward to see. Maybe I'll do an update uh, a couple years down the road. So uh, thanks for watching. So what do you think? Uh, let us know in the comments and peace my dudes. Get it dudes like the dude sweater peace my dude